post does not come up or post movement down is too slow or firm. The lube in the upper bushing may be dirty or missing. A temp fix will be to apply a few drops of chain lube on the upper tube near the lip seal. Solution is to inspect and re-lube the upper nut assembly. Fully extend your post by pressing the remote lever with no weight on the saddle. Remove the saddle from the post. Loosen the seat collar and remove your post from the bike. Hold that post static while turning the cable seal nut counterclockwise. Now hold the actuation assembly static and turn your post counterclockwise to fully remove the post from the housing. Clean all dirt, dust and other contaminants from the post using a lint free cloth. Use a 4mm hex to remove the seat clamp bolts and remove the upper and lower clamp pieces. Remove the rubber grommet and then remove the valve cap using a 10mm socket. Use a small tool like a flathead screwdriver to push down the center of the air valve to release all the air pressure. Remember to wait a few seconds and depress the valve again to dump all the air. Clamp the upper nut on the top of the main tube in a bike stand clamp. Or soft jaws in a vise or a strap wrench can also be used. Grip the post head in one hand and the lower tube in the other and turn the post as shown to unthread the post from the upper nut assembly. Carefully slide the nut assembly up the upper tube towards the head of the post. Carefully slide the foam ring down from inside the upper nut. Sometimes this foam ring can be stuck inside the lower main tube. Be careful not to rip this ring when gaining access to it. Carefully wipe any old grease from the upper stanchion tube. Apply a generous amount of light fork grease like slick oleum or slick honey inside the upper nut assembly. Soak light fork oil into the foam ring and slide the foam ring back into the upper nut assembly. Slide the upper nut down the stanchion tube to have it sit on top of the lower main tube. Position the upper nut in a bike stand clamp. Soft jaws in a vise or a strap wrench can also be used. Grip the post head in one hand and the lower tube in the other and turn counterclockwise to thread the upper nut onto the main tube. A firm stop will be felt when the upper nut is completely threaded down. Note, there will be still a very small gap on the surface of the post between the nut and the lower tube, about 0.1 to 0.3 millimeters. Using a digital shock pump, reinflate your post to 20 to 40 psi, depending on your requirements. Always allow a few seconds for the air pressure to balance between the top and bottom of the post past the brake before taking a reading. Replace the valve cap using a 10 millimeter socket. Do not over tighten. Reinstall rubber protective cover. Slide the saddle rails in between top and bottom seat post rail clamps. Now you can thread in your front and rear seat clamp bolts. Snug down the front and rear seat clamp bolts with a 4 mm hex. Position your saddle now in its correct 4 aft position. Continue tightening the front and rear saddle clamp bolts evenly. To level your saddle, alternate between tightening the front or back bolts till the saddle is level. Check dropper post for correct operation and go ride your bike.